surface exposure is the way in which plants have colonised a piece of solid rock. Now this solid rock became exposed when workmen cut a cutting through this ridge to help get this road to the top of the ridge. The old track would have gone over the sandstone, but in order to even out the gradient a bit, they cut through the rock to help them through the gradient of the road. So they exposed this top of rock. The parent material is the actual physical material upon which the soils and the vegetation have evolved, have developed. So we want to look at this parent material first of all. The parent material, as we can see, consists of, well, what looks at the moment a kind of greeny sort of stuff, but that is not in fact the rock at all. That is the vegetation discolouring the rock. So what we're going to do first of all is to see how to study a rock. Now who's got a John John Hammer? So, we do not damage the site because other scientists want to use it. So remember when you use this geological site or a geographical site, other people want to use it, don't leave it in a mess. So with a minimum disturbance, we have a look at a suitable place where we can take a sample of the rock. And we're going to put this in our sample bag in a minute, and we're going to put a thing down there. Okay. So I look along the little overhanging bit, break off these repairs a good one, and I'm just going to break off with the hammer the section of the fresh rock. Now you notice how the freshly exposed rock looks quite different to the weathered surface. See the difference? Quite a sharp contrast difference. Now the first thing we notice about this is its colour, obviously that's the thing that strikes you first. It's a rather orangey colour. And we'd have to discover why it's got that orange colour. Now let's just see if we can work it out. This Groundwater, once water enters the ground, it's called groundwater. This percolating groundwater is therefore going to be quite acidic. It's going to have a number of organic acids dissolved into it, and so it's going to react with the chemicals in the rock. And one of the chemicals in the rock is iron compounds. And then bring the rock into focus. Now try and get as much light as you can on the rock. So this is the way to use hand blend. So you bring the rock into focus like that. And I want you to do this, each of you, to write down some notes on the following things. What do the individual grains look like? What is their shape? Are they angular or are they rounded? Are they well sorted? That means, are they all about the same size, these grains? Zero seer. A zero seer is a plant succession developed on solid rock. All right, zero seer, plant succession developed on solid rock. You know a little bit about the rock now. By the way, did you notice that those grains in those rocks did not fit perfectly together and perfect? You will see the first thing you notice is this sulfury looking, powdery looking material on the solid rock. Does anybody know what that is? It's a lichen. L-I-C-H-E-N. The very first colonizers of solid rock are lichens. Why can lichens grow on solid rock? What can lichens do that most other plants cannot do? Excellent. They can actually physically extract nutrients from solid rock. They can absorb mineral nutrients from solid rock. Those are lichens. And I'm going on from the lichens. Can you see? Can you see there? That lovely green colour is a moss. The mosses are not the same as lichens, so you're going to have to look at the mosses very carefully and find them as well. They require, can you see how the mosses have got a much deeper soil? The lichens didn't have any. The mosses have got quite a deeper soil. Now as the lichens and the mosses break down, what's going to produce? Not the broadleaf one, that broadleaf one comes in later, but this fine one looks like hair, and that's its popular name, the wavy hair grass. The wavy hair grass. This ground flora, we've got the shrub layer, and we've got the tree layer, haven't we? The saplings, yes. Now let's have a look and see if we can pick out the trees, the final dump that we're going to come into this succession. Well, now here's one. What's that? Now, the best way to identify trees is with any leaves around. Now you'll see when you look at this leaf, it's got that kind of serrated edge to it. It's 
quite long tapering end to it here. This is a kind of oak. And you'll see this little stalk there. This just tell me, it starts off like that. That sort of shape to the oak like that. It's a very acute angle. This is the sessile oak, S-E-S-S-I-L-E. Sessile oak. There's a nice example of the sessile oak leaf there. Camera with you, so you get in close and take a photograph. You see, you've got the whole succession of times there. Yeah. 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 Then there's very little ground flora, but we can see once again we've got this what wavy hair grass. And if you look down in the wavy hair grass, we've got mosses, haven't we? So we've got the litter layer. We've got the you can see we finish we feel it's a sort of spongy feeling, isn't it? Now that is the decomposing remains of all this litter, mosses, grasses, all rotting yeah. away. That's the humus litter. About you all come along here in a minute. Up till they see the horizons very nicely. Right down, see the orange solid rock at the base. You've got a complete succession, complete, complete profile there, right down to solid rock. You see the iron community of heathers, either Coluna, which is Coluna vulgaris, the common heather or ling, or it could be Erica tetralix, and we'll take a sample back to school and identify which particular type of heather it is. water level rises in the Mersey, water is forced back upstream and then as the water falls in the Mersey, the water flows downstream from left to right. Now during winter rains and low tide you get a very rapid flow of water and in the days before human beings built these peaks, the stream was at the top of those cliffs. <laughs> That's what I want to sample off to keep it safe if you haven't seen it. This is David Smith, you don't want to give in. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just take out a square top first. I mean, put the square top back in this one. You go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I might. <laughs> 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 you better stop that. Yeah. Hey, this camera's a little bit. No, they don't. Can I use that when we get out there just to test for the answer